Welcome. This is Charles McNamara, your virtual instructor. Training is conducted at 9 Metro Tech in Brooklyn, New York. When you get in, you will have to check in with security, present your paperwork, take a ticket, and wait for your number. It's very important that you look at this clock to make sure that you get your information called and go to the next window. You can visit the fire department's webpage to download all of the study materials for various certificates of fitness. These are free of charge to download online. And it's a good idea to become very familiar with the study material for the exam that you are going to take. The fire and emergency action plan drill conductor will consist of 40 multiple choice questions and a passing score of 70% is required. It's very important that you study this material and prepare for your exam at the fire department. It will be important to study the FDNY definitions to better prepare for this exam. Building occupants are all the people in the building, including employees, tenants, building staff, and visitors. Central Station is a facility that receives alarm signals and transmits them to the fire department. Fire protection systems include sprinkler systems, standpipe systems, and fire alarm systems and all of the devices connected to them. Going offline with Central Station will prevent the fire department from automatically being dispatched to the building. It's a good idea to take the building offline before any testing or maintenance or drills. Non-fire emergencies include biological, chemical, nuclear incidents or releases, explosions, medical emergencies, natural disasters, and any other emergency infecting the property besides fire emergencies. We'll now talk about the different classes of fire. Class A, B, C, D, and K. Class A is basically trash, wood, and paper. B, flammable liquids. Class C, electric. D, combustible metals. And K, for kitchen. Another acronym you will need to remember for training people is PASS. Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. Portable fire extinguishers must be inspected on a monthly basis and they are serviced annually. Manual pull stations are located near exit doors, and they come in two types, single action and double action. You will need to know the different groups of buildings. Group A for places of public assembly. Remember, A for assembly. Group B for businesses. Another easy way to remember it, B for business. Office buildings. Group E for educational. Remember the letter E for educational. The next one will be group F for factories. Just remember the letter F for factories. The next one, group I for places of institution. I 
die for institution. The next one, group M for mercantile. Remember, group M for mercantile or for malls. The next one, group R, residential. Remember R for residential, place where people reside. The next one, group S, storage warehouse. S for storage. You will have a reference chart provided to you during the exam, but it's a good idea to commit these to memory. As a drill conductor, it will be your responsibility to provide tenants and occupants with different types of emergency scenarios. You may give them a scenario that deals with a medical emergency. You might give them a scenario that deals with a fire emergency. What type of scenarios would you encounter when there's an actual fire emergency? Other types of emergencies may include chemical incidents or spills, bomb threats, active shooter scenarios, you name it, anything can go wrong, but it's your job to outline fire and non-fire emergencies. You might have people that have English as a second language or physical abilities having issues to exit the property. You must also document your records for up to three years with the FDNY, and they must be made readily available. The FDNY exam will consist of 40 multiple choice questions, and you must score at least 70% to pass. This is a helpful video, but you should read the fire department material to make sure you are ready to take your exam. Good luck, study hard,